Hey everybody, my name is April and this is Thrifty Nerdy Mom. If you're new here, welcome. If you're turning, welcome back. So glad to see everyone. So today, first of all, this is more of a future April than the video that you're about to see. Originally these two videos were supposed to be two. Before I explain that a little bit more, let me say this before I forget. If you're if you're not already, please like and subscribe. Join our family. We would love to have you because we love Dollar Tree. So back into the whole two video thing. Um, originally I thought I would release it like two separate days. Like one on a Dollar Tree Tuesday and one on a Thursday. Forgot I had a swap scheduled for Tuesday. And then on Tuesday I thought it was Monday because it was a holiday. Yeah, yeah, yada. I'm combining this together and we're going to do a shop with me Saturday. So pretty much uh, we are walking through my one of my Dollar Trees, not both of them. I do go to both. I don't always find all this stuff or all my stuff from one Dollar Tree, but I'm gonna, we're going to shop together. Um, you're going to shop with me and Emma. And then I'm going to show you the haul like, like later. So I'm not wearing the same thing. I don't even think Emma's with me on the haul. But, um, yeah. So you kind of get to see what I look at when I go to Dollar Tree. And then you get to see what I pick up. And this one was like a pretty good haul for just one Dollar Tree. Like I said, I usually shop from both because sometimes like one Dollar Tree has great stuff. And then like my other tree has, Dollar Tree has better things. But yeah. I guess let's jump into the shop with me. I'll see you real soon. So let's get this walkthrough started. When I first walked into my Dollar Tree, I saw these awesome license mug, and then this really cute mustache mug. I wish I would pick one up. And then across the way are tons of snacks and Emma holding down the basket. There's these solar dancers. I almost picked up the hula dancer, but I didn't. And then there's summer toys. If you go to Dollar Tree for anything, pick up the summer toys. The shovel is like really, really good quality. I picked one up for Emma. And then their pool toys are fantastic too. Sometimes you'll get a dud here and there, but it's a dollar. So if you have to throw it away, you throw it away. I picked up one of the floating hammocks to put back for Emma just in case we go to the beach later this year. And then to the toy section, which is Emma's favorite, of course, they uh, have restocked with the Disney characters and the Paw Patrol characters, and I think they have PJ Mask now. And then I found these plastic dinosaurs and picked them up for a project. They have these Disney Zoom Zooms. We have most of them, but I wish I would have picked up Eeyore because Eeyore is looking really cute now that I'm looking back at it. So from here, I kind of notice these Trolls blind bags. Um, the one that says like the little dancing fingers actually folds out into sunglasses. Um, and then there's these like D&D themed dice. That's all I can think they are. And then of course the reforms. Always get your reforms from Dollar Tree. They have a heart and then a cup, well, more than a couple. They had this awareness ribbon and I didn't pick one up because I wasn't sure what I'd do with it. But um, here's kind of their home decor. I picked up a couple of those wire little photo hangers. I picked up one of the peace signs, ceramic cans, and then that bottle that I showed you in the beginning is to collect sands. And this is my crafter's corner. It is never stocked. But what was stocked today was the books. Great books for kids. I wish I actually would have picked up a few of these gray rugs or the dark blue ones. They're great for outdoor pillows. They are great to like combine and make larger rugs, but I didn't grab them. Always grab them when you find things. These bags were actually pretty cool. I usually pick up the licensed ones instead, but they got new baseball caps, like cool baseball caps. So I picked up one and I'm going to try to paint it. There's Foozles. Their gift bag game is always on. And then always look at the party section. Great balloons, great paper plates. I'm digging these superhero themed ones and might pick them up for my birthday. I actually picked up a couple of things to put back for Emma's birthday, even though it's in December because I know I won't find it later. I'm not sure if I actually picked up the sash or not, but if I didn't, I need to go back and pick one up because it's just really, really cute and 
a great way to kind of just show that it's someone's birthday. They also had some really cool dinosaur happy birthday stuff. And talking about that stuff, there's Emma again with her <laughs> little magnifying glass. Um, their summer supplies, whether it be patriotic or even summer in general, are great. I picked up a couple of these less Monday, more summers. I love pineapples, so I picked up a couple. And then their paper plates for summers have been like great. There's the holographic and the shells. My Dollar Tree has name brand bed. They have it like, I think they restock every Tuesday. Um, so always check yours for different snacks. Um, of course they always have like the one pack of cake mugs, but this one or the mug treats was four and it was pumpkin. So I've been eating it. Um, that trail mix bag was a big bag of trail mix. I'm not a big fan of nuts, so I didn't pick it up. Of course, there's tons of candy, candy in my second favorite aisle. And I'm not sure if we, pick, we did, I think, pick up some candy. Maybe. I don't know. I may have told her no. Um, but candy is a great place, or a great place to pick up candy is Dollar Tree. And of course, they always have chips and stuff like that. And these are great. I mean, it's not the best value, but it's a great grab-and-go snack. And it's a four-pack of individual packs of Cheez-Its. Um, always pick up water bottles from Dollar Tree, but a game changer in my cabinet is this soda can, like, refrigerator thing. I don't use it for sodas. I put it in my cabinets and store my cans. It's a game changer. Um, these snake, these plastic snake things that you put down the drain, it grabs out hair. Great, great use for any clogged drains. Always pick those up from Dollar Tree. And then I have bought several of these paper towel holders lately to store my ears and then this last item is something that's been on my wish list it's like one of those like meat chopper things um there's just scents and tons of cleaning supplies um I said that last time there's apparently more but yes I also pick up the brooms from Dollar Tree not the ones that are already put together but the ones that you buy the handles definitely separate from the heads those are a lot more sturdier and so worth it and then they had a ton of hard candy name brand makeup i didn't buy a ton because honestly i thought i'd show you what we actually picked up there's a few bags down here i picked up a few things and most of the things i picked up are in these bags because i bought several of them and you may ask me why and i'll tell you why in just a second but let me show you items that I picked up. And my Dollar Tree wraps them. A Dollar Tree girl was like really good to me and like wrap these. Oh no, and it broke either. Mm. Okay. So at least it only costs a dollar. That one may end up being mine. And yeah. Anyways, so the first item I'm showing you is at this awesome Star Wars mug and it is Han Solo Frozen in Carbonite and it's like a almost a, a rectangular shaped mug but it's still like a it's no it's rectangle on the side it just has a round like opening anyways I think it's really really cool and um this would even be great to just like store pencils on your desk and stuff so even if like I had one of these break off like the handle because the handle just fell out when I unwrap this so I guess my Dollar Tree girl didn't do right um she did try she double bagged and she wrapped them up in like paper and she did take the time to do all of them but things happen that's why I do like Dollar Tree too because if I am going to buy some breakable at least it's a dollar but back to the mug because I keep getting but like the mugs even got like a mug handle even has but yeah so I picked up two of those like I said I'll explain kind of why later I picked up multiple and this one is yet again the same thing and both of these handles broke off how did that happen? That's crazy. Anyways, so I bought two of these. Both handles are broken off, which is kind of sad. 
but I'll glue it back on and I will use them and I'll glue it back on and maybe give it to my sister or something I'm not sure but I bought these Death Star mugs and they're just kind of they're awesome and like I said I'm still gonna use mine as decoration because they're cool and there was the handle like it went right there and apparently that handle is just not very well made and um, both of them broke off. Yeah. Handle flying everywhere. And I'll show you the second one because the handle broke off this one too. It's kind of sad. But I mean it happens and it was just dollar so I'm not too upset about it. Yeah. So that's another one and the handle broke off. I think that handle is just kind of janky. Possibly. That might, hopefully. That handle was just kind of janky, and that's the only one that it happened to. On to the next mugs, though. I bought three of these, and they are, like, Mandalorian mugs. But what's great about these is, where does it show it? Up here. So when you, before, like, you put hot water in it, it's just kind of black and then when you put hot water in it it shows like baby Yoda and it's like it appears under the wanted thing I love these type of mugs I've never really had one though and thought it was really, really cool so I got one for myself and I got two more and then I just picked up one of these I think I might do like a floral arrangement for Christmas with this one and he's just so cute. And it is Olaf. Five Below has Olaf mugs that are like a little bit bigger than this one. But this one's a dollar and perfect for like a little floor arrangement. And even like the little handle has like the stick detail on it, which I appreciate so much. But yeah, I'm going to keep him for a floor arrangement instead of a mug. And I just picked up one of him. So. Let's talk about why I picked up multiples. I have like a little treasure closet type thing. I do a lot of these swaps. I have a lot of like nerdy friends and stuff like that. And I like to grab these when, especially when they're a dollar and kind of put them away for like Christmases and birthdays and like teacher appreciation and stuff like that. Because these are great, great gifts, especially to your nerdy friends. And, um, yeah, so I pick them up when I find them, and I just kind of put them away and stuff. And that way, if something comes up and it's kind of sneaking up on me, I can go in my closet and be like, okay, let's throw this together. So that's why I pick up multiple things at Dollar Tree when I do pick up multiple things. Which is quite often, honestly. But yeah, so. There's one more wrapped item in this, and it wasn't broken. So really, I think the Death Star mug was just kind of... A janky handle. I think that's what happened. Was it my Dollar Tree girl's fault? Just a janky handle. So uh, this next kind of break item, and I hate break items because things break, but dollar, it's fine. Reel it in, it's fine. So the next little porcelain item is I bought like this little peace sign. Um, when we went to Disney, there's like a couple pictures that I have. There's one of like me, my mom, and Emma where we're like you know because we're headed to pop century and then there's just one that like me and emma just randomly did it while sitting at a character meal and i thought i would um kind of put this on a shelf and put those pictures next to it and i just thought like it'd be kind of cute i almost got the thumbs up to put in my background because you know like subscribe thumbs up type thing but i just decided to leave it there if i go back next time it's there it's meant to be and I'll grab it then but yeah I just got the little peace sign for the time being because I thought the pictures would be really really cute next to it and stuff so next bag this next item probably won't excite everybody but it really really excites me because I've been looking for this item for a while and I'm going to say this, don't give up on your Dollar Tree wish list because you never know when you're going to find it. But it's like this ground beef like chopper. 
I've seen a lot of people use it. I think you can use it on chicken too, but I've seen a lot of people use it and yes, you can use a spatula, but everyone that's like said, you know, you can just use a spatula and then gets one, they're like, can't live without it. And so I've been kind of like wanting one, but I don't want to spend like over a dollar for one. So I've just been kind of keeping my eye out at Dollar Tree for one and finally found it very very excited about that like I said most people probably wouldn't be excited but I'm excited so this next one only bought one of these I usually if I find these at Dollar Tree um I'll pick up several and then like let me show you first before my idea I picked up a four pack of these treat mugs. Dollar Tree usually has like just a one pack for a dollar, but sometimes you can find the four packs for a dollar. This goes out of date in August, so I didn't pick out, pick up like a whole bunch. But in August, I know I'm going to be feeling a little fallish and a little spooky, and I'm probably going to want some pumpkin spice cake. So. Before it expires, I'll probably do that. I actually kind of craved it the other day after I picked it up. And I was like, I might eat one that night. But I saved it for the fall first. But what I was saying is when I find these at Dollar Tree, four for a dollar, or even one for a dollar, you can put it with a mug. And that's like an awesome, awesome gift. Not that expensive. Two bucks. Thoughtful. And you can maybe throw some other stuff in there too to kind of bulk it up and stuff but yeah I bought those and I'm already so like ready for Halloween and stuff like that and it's not even summer it's probably kind of summer but it's not really summer but I picked those up so this next item I kind of picked up on a whim I don't know if I'm going to put it in my treasure closet or um, kind of DIY it or something but I bought this like fitted men's hat um, I've been kind of getting baseball caps, but when I realized it was fitted and I can't fit my ponytail, th ponytail through it, I was like, oh, well, you know, it would be a great Father's Day gift. But, um, I was thinking the other day, and originally when I picked it up, I thought it was black, but I think it's a navy blue. But, um, I could probably hand paint the bill and make it, like, super magical. So, this for a dollar, and, like, the possibilities that I could do with it. I'm really really excited about it so I'll keep everyone updated about what I do with that. Okay so the last time in this bag, still more bags to go though, I picked up, you saw like an end cap of um, hard candy makeup which was great. There were some lipsticks, there was some eyeliner, there was um, some like different contouring powder contouring powder would have been great but I'm always afraid that I'm gonna buy the one and that's one thing you could buy it at Dollar Tree and like if it's the wrong thing it's the wrong thing you throw it away a dollar but um, I'm not extremely adventurous with my makeup so um, I found this though and it is this eyeshadow palette and these are like a lot of times my colors um, I've always been told like purple really brings out my eyes and stuff and so I tend to kind of stick with that color. I believe there's another color there but I can't recall off the top of my head what colors they were but I picked up that one. And really like I love those colors. Let me talk again. I love all those colors. It's going to be great. Um, I am like a hard copy photo person. I just am. And I've seen other people haul these, so I was thinking that I just wasn't going to, get, going to get one. But then I found them. And I think they're just so cool because you can interchange out pictures whenever you want. But it's like this like hanging wire photo frame thing. And really, like, you could even take off like that and make, like, a really cool wreath or something. But I'm going to use them for their intended purpose and use, like, pictures on them. I, like I said, am a huge hard copy picture person. I have, like, a huge gallery wall in my living room. 
if you look at, well, I mean, look behind me, it's a gallery wall. But if you look at my older videos, you will see, like, my gallery wall from my living room. But um, the shelf I was mentioning about the peace sign, it kind of has, like, two little open spaces next to it. So I bought two to kind of put that next to them and add some the pictures around it and make, like, a mini gallery wall. And I know minimalists out there will cringe when they hear me say that, but, like, really, you like what you like. I like gallery walls. So, I talked about a wreath, and this I bought, um, it's kind of, it's not plain by itself, but it's kind of small by itself. But I saw it and thought it'd be really good, like, great wonderful for me to add with like my mini wreath that I'm planning on putting on my front porch when I do my little refresh but it's just this like it's kind of short it's not like a huge statement piece but it says hello summer and the glitter the red glitter is sparkly and will shimmer in the light um if you want to keep like some fallout from happening you can find clear spray paint at Walmart for um 97 cents or you can even just use hairspray if you have hairspray. I think I have some hairspray. So just spray the glitter and it'll help some of the glitter fall out. I mean it won't keep it completely from falling out but it'll help. So yeah I'm gonna add this to my mini wreath for summer. And I showed you in the shop along video the party supplies. I love getting party supplies from Dollar Tree. It's a cheap, effective way to kind of... Party supplies get expensive. I DIY a lot of them, but sometimes getting them for a dollar and finding cute things. This one kind of fell off, but it's easily hot glueable. But yeah, so I picked up for Emma's birthday, which isn't until December, but when you see it at Dollar Tree, you gotta find it. And that's, once again, just like the treasure closet thing. I pick things up and I put it back because I know I'll eventually need it. But um, I picked up this really cute eight candle and it's gold with gold glitter. It's just so pretty. It's so pretty. And then to go with it because it would be perfect, I picked up this happy birthday like cape topper. And like I said, that kind of fell off the stick, but it was secure with hot glue. So it'd be like the simplest thing because I do have hot glue on hand all the time to fix. Even if you don't, you can melt that with like a lighter, like the hot glue with a lighter and just stick it back on there. So, yeah. Emma's birthday is not until December, but I picked up birthday things. I need to get one of those gold eight balloons too. I've seen them a few places, but like, those are more regular in Dollar Trees than, um, let's say that stuff. So, I haven't picked it up quite yet, but I have probably should because last year took me forever to find a seven. So these next few items I picked up for crafting reasons. So I've seen them start carrying around these four pack of foam dice. Usually you can only find like the four pack or the two pack which is really cool because they're kind of curved. I can't find those. I want to find the curved ones. Um, but if I don't, I could totally use these for a project that I have in mind. You can paint them and do whatever you want with them. You could do like little black signs. This is like fall and stuff like that. Don't you love that crinkling noise? But yeah, I picked up one of those. I may pick up more just in case I want to do something with different with them. But for now, I just picked up the four pack. I picked up these dinosaurs because I have some Mickey ears in mind. Um, I'm not going to leave them like that. I'm probably going to spray paint them and like make them look a little bit more elegant. But um, yeah, picked up those dinosaurs. Both of those were in the toy section. And then this, um, I found some different colors, but this was just randomly placed somewhere at the beginning of the store. And um, I'm glad I grabbed it because I didn't see that orange with the other colors. But yeah, it is orange and it's like this mesh ribbon. And honestly, once again, ears. Um, it is mesh, so I'll probably put like a fabric underneath it. And um, 
this on top of it. I may do like a black and then use this on top to my Halloween ears. It's so cute. I'm excited. I'm so excited about Halloween and fall. I've already said that once this video, but let's show you the summer item that I picked up because summer's fun to like celebrate too. Like I said, I showed that sign and then I'm a big lover of pineapples. So when I saw this, I thought it was so cute. It says less Monday, more summer. And yeah, I just kind of picked that up. Like I said, I'm a lover of pineapples. So, and then this last little bit is Emma's part of the haul. She was in the shop with me video, but she's not here with me today. So I'll just go ahead and show you the items that she picked up. Emma loves playing with dirt. And um, I showed in the shop long that these are great for like beaches and stuff like this or kids who love to play outside and dig in the dirt and so I picked up this wooden handle shovel it's um, a little bit more sturdier than like just the straight plastic shovels because I can't tell you how many times those have been broken or like crushed and stuff like that so picked her up the shovel she picked out this cup um, the ones I showed you I think I showed you were white and then we found this like randomly on another shelf and I said do you want the white or the pink and she chose pink so we picked up this huge ice cream cone cup um I mean tots just and then it's a pretty good size cup inside there I got a huge like summertime cup that I have been using for water at work she kind of got a little jealous and wants a huge water cup for herself and so i just picked it up for her i honestly don't know when we're going to go swimming again in a big pool but we may take a trip this fall and this is good to just kind of keep aside because if we it won't be fall it'll be late september but if we try to find something late september we're not going to be able to find it but this like floating hammock so these like puff up and then you kind of sit in there so I just thought that was really cool and like I said I'm not going to be able to find this in September if we do take a trip and so put it back with some other stuff just in case and if not she can use it next year I picked up some more of these like backgammon birdies and um because um it rained quite a bit while we, we were gone at disney and it kind of got like some of our outdoor toys just kind of like gross so i picked up another set of these to kind of just bounce around with her and put outside and replace the ones that we had to throw away this last well i have two items you saw her pick this one up and it's the trolls uh, world tour like finger dancer they had like um bigger size like characters it says tiny dancers i'm totally singing that song in my head um but anyways she wanted the one that you put on your finger the little one and um they did have and this is a mystery bag that's probably another reason why she wanted this one instead of like the taller figurines that i showed you because she loves mystery bags and i love getting her mystery bags from dollar tree because these can go up to like five or six dollars sometimes at other stores and that was a dollar so if we get doubles and stuff like that which we won't because we just picked up one it's not that big of a deal and then this last item I couldn't believe that they had this. They just started getting like regular um, electric toothbrushes at Dollar Tree, which is really cool. It's a really good buy. Um, but this one is like really cool because it is Lion King. They had a Disney electric toothpaste, electric toothbrush at Dollar Tree. These are like five or six bucks. I picked this up for Emma to kind of put aside. Um, you know, you can always use a new toothbrush sometimes. So, yeah. And I also saw, like, there was another toothbrush. She likes the electric ones better. But this, like, there's another one that lights up and does, like, different lights to show you how long you're supposed to brush your teeth. 
that one was really cool but like i said it wasn't electric it was just a light up one and i knew she would prefer this one more so yeah that's all i picked up from that shop along with me there was a couple items that i kind of like held back and didn't buy and if it's there when i go back i might pick up but yeah pretty good size haul but thank you so much for watching comment down below and let me know if you'd kind of like to see me do this every now and then it won't be every time because sometimes it's just easy to show you what i got um because i did this after work and that's when i usually go shop at dollar tree and sometimes you just don't want to film after work but yes thank you so much for watching comment down below don't forget to subscribe like this video and we hope to see you real soon Bye.